Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday, about 8 a.m. <sighs> You're not going to believe this. Just, I, I, let me just show you. Okay. We had bad weather last night, right? Where, what do you think is missing? Because honestly, when it happened, I was in disbelief and it was comical that, that now we have some newly acquired space that we can fill with something. Um, luckily we have a camera. Well, it's not pointed directly at the pergola, but it did capture a few things. So last night I got the flashlight and I looked and it was back here. Like you can't really see. It's not there anymore. I can't see. Oh no. There she is. It moved over there. It was more so here last night because there's the little hanging solar light and there it is which i guess works out in our favor a little bit more because <laughs> over that way is where the big gate opens and we need to drag it out of so it drags that gate opens at the end of our driveway so oh there we go happy wednesday y'all it's about 12 15. we're headed to run a couple of errands i need to get gas first i want to make a return to ulta I need to drop off a bunch of stuff to donate. Well, it's not a bunch, it's totes and a Christmas tree. And then I'm taking those Amazon sets back, but I need to take them inside Kohl's. Um, so let's do all of that. Let's get gas first. And then we'll talk about what's actually exciting today. Okay, so the exciting thing today is one day last week, I wanna say it was like Saturday? Maybe it was over the weekend. I found the most beautiful anthropology dupe, like wide, shorter type mirror from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for 114 bucks, which online and on their signs, they say mirrors are always 50% off. So I say on sale, but it's always that price. Uh, but it was beautiful. So I ordered it and it should get delivered today. It shows that it's on the FedEx truck. FedEx usually comes pretty late, but it says 10.50 to 2.30 or 2.50, and it's almost 12.30. So that's what I wanna show you is this mirror. It's gonna go above the fireplace. Um, in, in theory, I would love to put our television there and sort of rearrange, like open that space up where the TV and console is now, but the TV is just too big. So I wanna just sort of minimalize, minimalize everything and maybe bring in some more color. Everything's sort of that like white, shabby chic, tans, light grays kind of thing. Not furniture, like all the furniture is staying, but like the accents, like the extra pieces and stuff. So anyway, I'm so excited for that mirror. Hopefully by the time we get home, it will be there. I'm gonna run my few errands, go get groceries, that sort of thing. And then I'll see you when we get home. Oh, also we got so lucky with that storm. So many people in, or even in our area, like close enough, like across the street, got got major damage, major, like limbs down, trees down, fences down, so that's not really major, but it is major when it happens to you. And then just watching videos over, like in Destin, Panama City, they got hit really hard. So we really got lucky. The pergola, we just need to get something to pull it out from behind the house. And then Brian said he's gonna build something instead. It doesn't matter if you build it or we put something else, it's got to go in the concrete this time. If you're not new here, you know that's the second pergola, the exact same one that the wind has swept away. The first one happened, went behind, and then we pulled it out. So we bought a new one, rebuilt it, and we were going to put it into the concrete, like bolt it into the concrete, that never happened and it happened again, it got blown away. So 
this go round, whatever we end up doing out there is going to have to be into the ground really well because this was just a little bit of wind. It's not even hurricane season. So we got really lucky. It's still annoying that the pergola blew away, but we it, overall, we got really lucky. Okay, the mirror has arrived. Let me open it and then I'll show you. Oh, I think, I, I think it's upside down. Okay, here it is. You can see yourself but this is what it looks like and it's going right there behind me. Just so we can see what it looks like, we'll get Brian to like bolt it to the wall or put it into the wall. I was worried that was gonna be too big. And honestly, I think we could have gone a lot bigger. Happy Saturday, y'all. I am just out and about filming some videos. I've been on a hot streak, if you haven't noticed. I'm trying to just post a bunch of videos. I'm in a good mood, I'm having a good time. I feel like there's so many places that we love to shop, that we want to try, that I wanted to order from, we're doing it all. Um, but for today, I filmed a little bit. I'm gonna run into the store. Tonight, Brian is staying, he's going to the hunting camp, and so I'm alone tonight. And I wanna make one of my favorite dinners. It's like a, I'm telling you, if you sat at my house, you would think you were at a Mexican restaurant. Like the rice with the queso, with the steak and the vegetables like it's so good so i thought maybe i would grab a bag of tortilla chips because i do have the queso i wish i could make guacamole really good if you have a really good guacamole recipe let me know down below because store-bought is fine but it's just not the same you know as like a really good homemade guacamole so let me know but also where i'm going to shop Holly works. Holly watches my videos. Holly lives in town, obviously. We go to the same uh, person to get Brazilian waxes. Sorry, Holly, if you didn't want anyone to know that. Um, so if she's working today, I'll walk by where the section she says she works in if she's here. If you're here, Holly, I will find you. I will say hello. We're also here for the essentials. So let's go ahead and grab some paper towels. And we need toilet paper. I typically just buy the six. Hmm, but I like the blue. They don't have the blue in a six. They have it in an eight, but I don't like the super mega. I just like the regular mega. Oh, nope, I don't like super mega. I guess we'll go for 12. I also need some dog treats. Oh, I need some, look, this is what happens. I like think about everything I have ever needed. I did use the last one of these this morning. Cash likes these jerky cuts. We'll grab it. Tortilla chips. We usually just buy the bagged but I always see these, like these are super fancy, right? Thin and crispy, strips, rounds. We usually buy, it's a yellow bag, but not that brand. They might not sell them at this store, which is fine. I mean, I don't have to get the exact ones I want. Oh, we did try these one time and really liked, uh, let's do these, restaurant style. I mean, it's literally just me. <laughs> so let's see if we can find some salsa. Not this kind of salsa. Um, though, while we're here, if there's a salsa that you really like in a jar, let me know. Hello, welcome back. It's about 6.30, it is dinner time. So tonight I'm making a taco bowl. It's actually, it's technically called low carb taco bowl, but I'm adding rice to mine so it makes it not low carb. I will link the recipe for you down below. I've already chopped up my steak. It makes a lot, so I'll have plenty of leftovers. Fajita seasoning. You can use whatever seasonings the recipe calls for, but I just use a pack. These veggies from Publix, you have green peppers, red peppers, and onions. This is the queso that I like. Goes on top. Microwave rice, so easy and so good. This is the chipotle jasmine rice one. Fajita seasoning is going, oh man. I had this planned out better in my head. Fajita seasoning into the steak, the whole, the whole bag. Olive oil. And then we're gonna mix it up. You're gonna cook this, and when it's almost done, throw in the peppers. 
Here's what we look like so far. This meat mixture is done. I did add a little more like regular taco seasoning on top. I also slightly cooked that for too long. I do it in two minute increments and stir in between, but I was talking on the phone and it went over a little bit. Rice is done. That's a quick like microwave 90 second rice. Let's plate it. About a cup of rice, our meat and veggie mixture. And then I just poured a little bit of queso over the top. And I think I'm gonna watch this movie on Amazon Prime called Faux. If you've watched it, what did you think? Also drop me your like really good show recommendations or movies or anything on streaming down below. Y'all good morning. By the way, it's Tuesday, like 645. It looks like it's snowed. What the heck is happening? Brian just left for a work trip and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like it snowed. He was like, no, it's just freezing rain. Isn't that what snow is? <laughs> It's not fluffy snow like, you know, people are used to seeing, but and it's still raining. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, it's like crunchy. I have to drive today. He was like, don't go anywhere. Don't drive. So I have to drive. Look at the roof. Huh. That's bizarre. I didn't know that was happening. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is not rain in Mobile, Alabama. We have snow. For the first time in probably, oh, close to 10 years, but we have snow. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. So yesterday I showed you the bit of snow that we had. I had all intention of going to a hair appointment but Nikki drives a little bit further and she wasn't so sure about driving so she canceled the well we rescheduled not canceled we rescheduled the appointment and then I just stayed home all day long because I know a lot of people that are used to like ice and snow will think this is funny but I didn't want to drive in it so I just stayed home all right so it's about 8 45 in the morning I am up I just did my skincare my face looks so good after that micro needling i'm so excited i may regret my decision to get out of the house right now it is like 19 degrees i'm wearing shorts <laughs> but my car sits in the garage so my car is only like 40 degrees and i've got the heat going and then i'm not getting out i'm just gonna go through the, through the little drive through obviously i bought cash oh i need to bring that garbage can in too but i'm wearing shorts I'll do that later. I'm surprised they picked it up yesterday. I slept so good last night, y'all. These are gonna be too cold to put on. Maybe I should put them in front of the heater for a second. I usually don't sleep that good. How funny is it? Like, before Brian and I moved in together, I lived alone, and I slept by myself every single night and thought there's no way I could ever sleep next to someone and be comfortable. And now that we've lived together for so long, it's like I'm so used to it that usually when he leaves or I'm out of town by myself or something, I just don't sleep as good, but I slept. So I slept until 8.30, which is late for me. I slept so good, maybe because I had the heat on low, like it wasn't too warm. I was just cozy. Well, there's a long line. Everybody had the same idea. I guess I'll go around to a different line. Maybe they aren't so long. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll go to number three. Somebody got a pup cup, first of all, look at. Okay, they put little dog treats on top, they said. There you go. That line was so long. They said that um, their equipment kept like malfunctioning because it's so cold outside. She's skipping all the treats. Okay, so today I'm filming all day long, but I have some really cute uh, sunglasses to show you that a company sent me. So let's skip to that part and then we'll continue on our day. Welcome back to the vlog. Let's try on some Sojo sunglasses. They were kind enough to let me pick these. This part of the video is in partnership with Sojo's. I have five pairs of sunglasses. Listen, I went a little bit out of my comfort zone with these, but I think that's the point. Like I wanna be fun. I see so many different styles that are trendy right now and I'm kind of stuck in the same like oversized tortoiseshell type. Listen, you might see some of those in here, but I took this as an opportunity to try some different shades. They also give me a discount code. Tara and Denise will save you a little bit of money at checkout. I will link all of these for you. They're very inexpensive, okay? They're worth it. I've tried Sojo's before. Let's try them on. I said it. They're a little bit out of my comfort zone, okay? 
but imagine the perfect outfit for these. These would also be good like Halloween costume type sunglasses, but I see so many of these like square, chunky, different color. They have so many colors and everything too, by the way. Apparently when I picked this, I wasn't quite out of the big frame era yet. They all come with a little cleaning cloth. And then these, the ones that are polarized, you can't see the words on here, but I can wearing these glasses. I guess they just want you to double check that they're actually polarized. And then a little kit that says how to clean them, how to store them and make sure that they're dry. Okay. So number one, like how cute is that? Oh, I like them. They're different, but they're fun. These are very much tearing now. Okay. Listen, I told you, I, I don't know if I can get away from the large like frames, but how cute are these with a the little gold detail on the side? We love them. I feel like I kind of have a big head and these, maybe not a big head, but a big face because a lot of times when I see sunglasses that say oversized, they don't actually look as oversized on me as they do like on the website, these do. Okay, number two, I like these. Hear me out with these. These are more of like a trendy size and style. They've got a cute little gold detail here, like a thicker side, but this like smaller. I see so many people do these with like slick back buns. Do you know what I mean? So I took this opportunity to try them for myself. These are the trending sunny right now. Are they cute up there? They are. Okay, number three. I wanna see if I can show y'all the polarized paper through the glasses somehow. Okay, so here's what it looks like. You can't see anything on it. Let's see if this works. Okay. <laughs> can you read it? Oh, you can. Number four. Let's go for the silver oversized, right? So this is like a gray tint. These are like um, aviators, but with a larger frame, but they fit my face exactly how I would want them to. I love the look of them. I love the silver. Typically I would go for gold or like a rose gold. So I went out on a limb with the silver and I think these look so cool. They're like a beveled textured, I guess, type frame, but they look perfect. I love the size, the shape. They look cute like that. And number five. Okay, listen, so we only got one pair that wasn't like large frame, but it's what I usually wear and these are cute. So these are a little bit different. They're square, like that brown rose typey frame. They are gold on the side with a little tortoise shell colored rubber bits here. These are different. These could be cute for, if you're not into this style, like if you were doing like a 70s or 80s style, like Halloween costume or something. I like the big frames. How many times can I say that? And they also look cute like that. All right, so number five. What do we think? Don't forget the discount code Taryn Denise will save you a little bit of money at checkout. I will link them down below for you. Which is your favorite? I want to like the smaller ones the best because they're the most like trendy right now, but it's probably the like larger frame ones. But thank you to Sojo's for sending these over and letting me pick them. Let's pick a pair of shades and go somewhere. We're going with these, okay? Hear me out. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. Sunglasses, it's kind of silly to say. Trying to get out of my comfort zone. Oh, I need to clean them off. Um, all right, so I have been out and about doing a few things, but now it's time for you and I to continue our journey. I wanna run to Target and get, Brian's birthday is this weekend and I need some wrapping paper and a birthday card, but also I wanna scope out the plus size section because last time I was there, they were, redoing it like switching it out and so I just want to see because I do want to do a Target haul soon and I need to know if I need to order the items or can I go in store like will they have new things I tried to look on the app and like select plus size and then for pickup but it's kind of wonky because it'll say yeah we have all these things but then when you actually go in it's not in the color or size that I want also my neck I'm not I don't even know what's happening okay we know I've do we know? I had a little spot, used the cream, it went away. And then I had two more spots that came up, went to the dermatologist, they went away. And now it's like my whole neck from like here, here to here. I don't know what's happening. I filmed a video this morning, uh, which it's on Instagram. I think it's probably up on Instagram by the time that you're watching this. And that's all I can see is my red neck. 
and I don't know what's happening. I thought maybe, because I've tried to use some, like, mix and match different products to see what it is, like, stop using this one, stop using this one to see what it is that may be causing it, and I can't figure it out yet. And then I thought, you know what? I've been using a new foundation. Not new to me. It's just a new bottle of foundation. And I thought, you know, maybe that's the problem. So after I felt like before I left the house, I washed, like took makeup remover on my neck, washed it with face wash and didn't put anything on it. And I thought, there we go. It's going away. But I don't think that it actually is. So I don't really know what's happening, but let's go to Target. Let's grab wrapping paper first. I have two boxes that I need to wrap. So that should be pretty easy. This one is kind of cool. I like that. I feel like I have birthday paper at home, but I'm not sure. I probably should have looked. But the boxes I have are pretty big. We might get this. Does this match? Because that's kind of, I don't know. Or do you like the rose gold? I feel like for Brian, we go for this. One of them I could put in a bag, but it would have to be like this size bag. See, I, that might work, but these would be too small. Do we switch it up and get a bag as well? Or do we just try... There's not a ton of wrapping paper there. For $4.50? Okay, now I don't know, hang on. I want that craft paper. You know what I'm talking about? That's like um, a paper bag you would get from the grocery store. That's what I want. And last time I saw it, it was in the packing section. Yep, this is it, $5.69. So it is a dollar, a little bit more than a dollar more. But look at that, look how much more you get. And I like this. So we're gonna get this, but we're gonna stick with those bows. So here's the cards that I'm considering, okay? This one, you're not old, you're vintage. Happy birthday, okay, we like that one. This one, I liked. Plans with you are the only ones I don't want to cancel. Happy birthday to my favorite person. Or, I read every single card in the store before picking this one just for you, really. I sat on the floor and everything. Ironic, they put this one at the bottom, so I did have to get on the floor to get it. You better like it, happy birthday. Which one do you like? I feel like we should probably go nice and do this one. Plus the navy kind of matches the little bow thingies, thingies, oh wow, thingies I'm getting. But so does this one, you know? You're not vintage, you're old. Happy birthday, which one do we like? I'm probably gonna get this one, the nice one. Here's what we're looking at for plus. I think what they did, they moved the maternity things in this middle section because typically, like this hasn't always been there. Yeah, these are like maternity nursing things. Hello, and then this is plus size, okay? I see dresses, oh my gosh, they put swimsuits out. I'm not ready for swimsuits, but they put some fun dresses out. Okay, that could be a fun video. The red one, or this like pinkish red one right here, we've seen so many times. But we could do like a little springy type dress haul. Jeans, we know the jeans are incredible. These little basic tees are nice. Some dress pant looking things. Okay, I don't know. This goes up before Target even happens. So let me know if you want me to just try these things on or would you like me to order? If you want me to order, maybe drop some links to things that you've been eyeing or things that are your favorites and we can try those. These jeans look legit. They're like a super wide leg, like dark wash. And then what are these? Oh, they're like a two-tone. That's different. And then just a pair of black. Those look boot cut or flare. Y'all, my phone died at Target. It is now 5.30. I just went and picked up a prescription. I charged it enough to say goodbye to you. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. I felt like it wasn't as long, but I think last week the vlog was just extra long. I think it was almost an hour, was it? I just feel like it was when I was editing and posting, I thought, gosh, this is the longest one I've ever done. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to check out Sojo sunglasses. Thank you to them for sending those sunglasses over and partnering with me on a portion of this video. I will link them down below this week, which will be next week's vlog for y'all, Brian's birthday, which I picked up some really cute things from Target. You saw the card, but I got some other things too. Um, but anyway, we'll do Brian's birthday next week. I'm getting my hair done finally. I'm a little bit torn on what to do. We'll talk about that next week. So thanks for watching this. I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.